Hey guys, welcome back. So I've got a tutorial for you today and it's on this makeup look right here. This is a quick out the door sort of makeup look. So it's using products that can kind of do like multiple functions and just techniques that you can use that look like you spent more time on your makeup than you actually did. So this is definitely like a go-to sort of look for me, not necessarily the products that I used, but the techniques. Like if I'm needing to get out the door quick, these are some things that I will typically do. So yeah, if you wanna see how to get this look, smudgy liner, slightly defined crease, sorta of kind of natural-esque-ish, but not totally, <laughs> still put together, but not over the top sort of makeup look. If you wanna see how to get it, then just keep watching. Okay, so I've already applied some moisturizer, so now I'm gonna take a concealer. I'm actually gonna be using kind of a highlighting concealer because I'm just gonna be putting it mainly on the highlighted places of my face, but if you're gonna be going in different areas of your face, you probably won't wanna use like a highlighting concealer. But I'm using the Wet n Wild Illuminati Highlighting and Concealing Pen. And this is in Ivory Into You, Ivory Into You. And I'm gonna use my Sedona Lace 217. And I'm just going to, if I don't drop it, I'm gonna put it like right under my eyes, on my nose, kind of right in here. Just really, you can see kind of like where I have redness. That's really where I'm concentrating it. To give myself more coverage, but also just a little bit of like, you know, highlighted sort of effect. If you hear noise outside, somebody's doing like yard work or cutting something, grinding something, I don't know what's happening, but there's some weird noises outside. <laughs> And now I'm gonna take my IT Cosmetics Celebration Foundation SPF 50. I wear it in light, and I'm using my IT Cosmetics CC Plus Angled Buffing Foundation Brush, and I'm just gonna apply this all over my face and kind of buff it in. Max Painterly Paint Pot to my lids as my base and my eyeshadow primer. And now I'm going to do my brows. I really haven't figured out a shortcut for brows. I just feel like they're essential and these are my favorite products to use. This is the NYX Tame and Frame Tinted Brow Pomade in Blonde. This is the NYX Micro Brow Pencil in Taupe and just any kind of an angled brow sort of a brush. So for quick out the door makeup, we want the least amount of steps possible. So I'm gonna use my Benefit Dallas blush as kind of like my blush bronzer. So I'm gonna first take my Sedona Lace FB05 and apply this as my blush and bronzer, kind of right in here and then blending it up. And then I'm also going to put it into my crease on my eyes with my Sedona Lace EB15 brush. I'm also gonna put a little bit of this at the top of my forehead, just kind of sort of serving as my bronzer. That's why I love Dallas, because it's just one of those kind of like do-it-all sort of products, you know? You know what I mean?
And I'm gonna do some smudgy liner. I feel like smudgy liner is a great way of looking put together and almost like purposeful. It's easy, it's quick, but it looks purposeful like you planned it to be there, which a lot of times I do plan my makeup that way, like I like to do smudgy liner, but it's just a way of looking really put together without spending a lot of time on your makeup. So I'm gonna smudge some of this liner. This is the Laura Geller Kajal Longwear Eyeliner in Smoky Taupe Coal on my upper lash line and then just a little bit on my lower lash line. And I am gonna do, hello brush hair, I'm gonna do a little bit of a wing on my upper lash line. And I'm just gonna curl my lashes and apply mascara. Today I'm using my CoverGirl The Super Sizer. And for lips, you wanna go with something you know you love. So I'm gonna use my Maybelline Born With It. It's just a really pretty like neutral, kind of like peachy pink, everyday sort of color. So that is pretty much it right here. But if you have a couple extra minutes, I like to take a highlighter. This is the e.l.f. Baked Highlighter in Moonlight Pearl. And I like to add just a little bit of highlighter to my cheekbones, my cupid's bow, the inner corner of my eyes. I feel like it does make an impact, makes a difference. This is not necessary, but if you have a couple extra minutes and you wanna add on a little something, this is the step I would do next. So that wraps up this look and tutorial. So I hope that you really enjoyed it. Please give it a thumbs up if you did and let me know down below what some of your quick out the door makeup tips are. I would love to know some of your techniques that are kind of your go-tos. Ask me any questions that you have. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.